Picture this, a time when televisions were not just screens, but portals to worlds of intrigue, mystery, and adventure. It was a year that whispered the secrets of the past and painted the possibilities of the future. In the midst of it all, in 1965, emerged a television series that would forever etch its mark on the tapestry of entertainment. As the screen flickered to life, hearts raced and curiosity danced in the eyes of viewers across the nation. The show was none other than the F. I, do you remember that moment? A hush that settled over the room as the opening credits rolled, accompanied by that distinctive theme music that seemed to resonate with your very pulse. The characters stepped onto the screen, each one a puzzle piece in the grand mosaic of the show's universe. And as the plot unfolded, you were transported into a world where the line between good and evil was as thin as a razor's edge. Maybe it was the tension that gripped you as the agents navigated the treacherous waters of espionage, and crime, always one step behind the elusive culprits. Or perhaps it was the electrifying chemistry between the characters, their interactions drawing you deeper into their struggles and triumphs. And who could forget those unexpected twists that left you gasping, your mind racing to keep up with the cascade of revelations. As you reflect on those moments, let's delve into some lesser known facts about the show. Did you know that the FBI was one of the first television series to receive the full support? and cooperation of the real Federal Bureau of Investigation. This authenticity lent an air of realism that elevated the show beyond mere entertainment. And while the series had its share of dramatic flair, it also aimed to shed light on the inner workings of law enforcement, sparking conversations that lingered long after the credits rolled. So, whether you're revisiting the show or encountering it for the first time, let the memories and musings flow. Let the echoes of the FBI remind you that even in a world of black and white, the shades of human nature remain endlessly fascinating. It's a journey that stirs the soul and stokes the flames of curiosity, a testament to the power of storytelling that spans generations. And now, armed with these tidbits of trivia, you can rewatch the FBI with a newfound appreciation for the tapestry it wove and the impact it left behind. So go ahead, let the nostalgia wash over you as you revisit those thrilling episodes and gripping moments. In the pantheon of television history, one series stands out for its remarkable longevity and unwavering popularity, the F.B.I. Produced by the renowned Quinn Martin, this 1965 TV show etched its mark in the annals of crime drama. Lasting an impressive nine seasons, it became Martin's longest-running masterpiece, captivating audiences year after year with its riveting narratives. The show's longevity wasn't its only distinctive feature. The FBI weaved a seamless blend of gripping storytelling and a touch of automobile allure. In a recurring motif that resonated with viewers, the closing credits rolled to reveal Inspector Erskine, the tenacious protagonist, driving off in the current year's Ford Mustang. This small yet captivating detail showcased the era's automotive marvels, mirroring the show's commitment to contemporary realism. Beyond its cultural impact and automotive nods, the FBI also served as a platform for emerging talent. Notably, in 1969, a young Rick Dalton made his appearance in one of the show's episodes. Little did anyone know that this guest spot would be a stepping stone for Dalton's later Hollywood stardom, giving viewers a glimpse of the talent that would soon grace the silver screen. As time marched on, the FBI held its ground, leaving an indelible mark on television history. With its compelling narratives, automotive showcases, and unexpected guest appearances, the series secured its place as a beloved classic, all while solidifying Quinn Martin's legacy as a master of the small screen. And so, the story of the FBI continues to captivate, a testament to the enduring power of captivating storytelling and the indomitable spirit of the 1960s television landscape. In June of 2009, Real Life F.B.I. Director Robert Mueller recognized the formidable contribution of Ephraim Zimbalist, junior to the iconic 1965 TV series The F. I. The show, which held audiences captive for nine seasons, captured the essence of law enforcement with gripping narratives and a captivating performance by Zimbalist as Inspector Lewis Erskine. Mueller's gesture elevated Zimbalist to an honorary F. B. I. Agent, an accolade that echoed the show's influence on shaping public perceptions of the Bureau's work. The FBI, a series known for its riveting portrayal of crime-solving, was more than just entertainment. 
Its power was amplified by the sponsorship of Alcoa and the American Tobacco Company in collaboration with Ford, an unprecedented alliance that melded corporate support with storytelling prowess. Yet, perhaps even more intriguing was the involvement of J. Edgar Hoover. The formidable director of the FBI lent his expertise as a consultant, crafting a sense of authenticity that echoed through the show's every scene. Hoover's presence remained unseen, never gracing the screen, but his influence was palpable. As the FBI navigated intricate webs of intrigue and justice, its impact resonated across society, prompting Mueller's tribute to Zimbalist's indelible contribution. The show's legacy endures as a testament to the symbiosis of entertainment and reality, where the lines between fact and fiction blur. The plaque and badge awarded to Zimbalist encapsulate the show's enduring impact, cementing it not only in television history, but within the annals of the FBI itself. From its co-sponsorship by corporate giants to its revered consultation with a real-life director, the FBI holds a unique place in the tapestry of television history. As time passes, its influence remains undiminished, a tribute to the dedication of its creators, the talents of its actors, and the intricate dance between entertainment and reality. And as the plaque and badge bestowed upon Ephraim Zimbalist, Jr. signify, the legacy of the FBI continues to thrive, its mark indelibly etched into the very fabric of law enforcement lore. Unveiling the untold stories of 1965 TV series The F. I, in the vibrant landscape of 1960s television, where intrigue and law enforcement narratives flourished, the 1965 series The FBI stood as an emblem of crime-fighting drama. Led by the distinguished actor Ephraim Zimbalist, Jr., the show thrived on authenticity, as evidenced by a remarkable behind-the-scenes detail that lent an air of reality to the series. Ephraim Zimbalist, Jr., the embodiment of steely determination as Inspector Lewis Erskine, was provided a prop with an intriguing secret. An actual FBI identification card, complete with his photo, army service fingerprints, and a serial number only a digit shy of genuine. This touch of verisimilitude was a nod to the show's commitment to accuracy, a trait that resonated with audiences as they tuned in week after week. However, it was not just the meticulous attention to detail that added an aura of intrigue to the F.B.I. The first season of the show harbored an unexpected guest star, none other than Robert Blake. While the doors were seemingly closed for certain celebrities like Betty Davis, Blake managed to slip through, leaving his mark on the series. Interestingly, amid the cast and crew, a unique subplot unfolded involving a young talent named Stephen Brooks. A mere 23 years old at the time, Brooks found himself not only navigating the world of television, but also facing the realities of his draft status. A one a classification indicating his availability for military service added an unanticipated layer of complexity to his tenure on the show. Brooks' personal journey mirrored the tension-filled narratives that the FBI masterfully portrayed on screen. As the series delved into the intricate world of federal investigations, it seems life imitated art in unexpected ways. Whether through Zimbalist's personalized identification, Blake's covert appearance, or Brooks' dual existence in both the entertainment realm and the impending draft, the FBI wove a tapestry of authenticity that resonated with viewers. In a time when television was becoming a cultural cornerstone, the FBI etched its name into the annals of television history. Beyond the episodes that flickered on screens, the hidden stories of the show's participants reveal a tale as riveting as the narratives it depicted. The 1965 TV series captured not only the essence of law enforcement drama, but also the complexities of the era it inhabited. And so, within the confines of a small screen, the FBI managed to encapsulate the very essence of an era where truth and fiction blurred, giving way to a riveting and enduring television experience. FBI memos, disclosed via the Freedom of Information Act, unveiled the show's intriguing casting dynamics. The real FBI's surprising influence extended to guest stars, vetoing Robert Blake and Bette Davis from appearing on the 1965 TV series. These internal memos spotlight the agency's unusual behind-the-scenes sway. Contrary to the glitz of Hollywood, earlier episodes of the series harbored a unique touch. Opening credits showcased genuine case numbers, embedding an air of authenticity into the show's fabric. This subtle nod to reality aimed to tether the drama to real-world investigations, captivating audiences in a rare blend of fiction and fact. 
At its inception, the 1965 TV series stood as a product of the Ford Motor Company's sponsorship. In a symbiotic arrangement, Ford provided every on-screen vehicle, creating a fleet that navigated the show's narrative twists. This automotive partnership not only showcased the company's prowess, but also elevated the show's realism. In a time where TV was rapidly evolving, the FBI carved its niche with these remarkable facets. The show's shadowy backstage power, incorporation of genuine case numbers, and automotive collaboration spotlight a bygone era of television innovation. As the show graced screens across the nation, its unique elements left a lasting imprint on the entertainment landscape. These lesser-known details paint a vivid picture of the FBI's captivating journey, echoing its resonance in an era defined by evolving storytelling techniques and strategic brand partnerships. In the ever-shifting sands of television history, these aspects remain testaments to the show's indelible legacy. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the intriguing corridors of the FBI, I invite you to pause and reflect on the captivating echoes this timeless TV series has left within your own narrative. Much like the intricate dance between light and shadow in every scene, our personal connections to such shows have a way of shaping the tapestry of our lives. Whether it's the resonance of a particular character's determination, the adrenaline of a suspenseful chase, or the lingering melodies of the show's soundtrack that have etched themselves into your memory, these are the threads that weave the fabric of your unique experience with the F. B. I. This iconic series didn't merely grace our screens, it carved its presence into the annals of television history, reminding us of the power of storytelling to unite generations. And now, I extend an invitation to you, dear reader, to share your treasured recollections, your thoughts that have stood the test of time, your personal connection to the F. B. I. What were the moments that stirred your emotions, the conversations it sparked, the way it might have inspired your own perceptions of justice and intrigue? Your reflections, like pieces of a puzzle, add depth to the ever-evolving narrative of this show's legacy. As the credits roll on this narrative exchange, I extend my gratitude for your time and interest in this exploration of the F. B. I. It's through our collective engagement that we keep the spirit of these stories alive, ensuring they continue to ignite imagination and reflection for years to come. Until we cross paths again on the journey through other narratives, remember that the stories we cherish become a part of who we are, a testament to the enduring power of the human connection with the world of entertainment.